There once was a lady who, over the years, many long years, became blind. It was sad. She decided, though, that she finally needed to go and look for a doctor. Now, there weren't very many doctors in her small town. And this was back in the day when doctors might not have even been all of that, well, you know, moral or, yeah. There was a lot of, there was a lot of bad stuff going on in the doctor world in her area. But uh, quacks, that's what they're called. There was a lot of quackery going on, and she did finally find a few people that said, well, I don't really know too much about him, but he does seem to do pretty good with this uh, poultice for your eyes, like this stuff that you put on your eyes, and maybe that'll help, maybe it won't, who knows. And so uh, she sent for him, and he came to her house, and realized immediately that she was pretty old and probably pretty poor. But he still talked to her, and she was happy about that. Seemed friendly. And so she uh, said, okay, uh, what's your cure for my, you know, this, this, this losing my sight that's going on? And he said, well, it's, uh, it is, uh, like your friend said, it's a poultice, it's a, it's, uh, you know, some medicine that I rub on your eyes, and then I bind your eyes, you know, put them under a band, you know, wrap them in a bandage for uh, a week, and then I'll come and change that out for a few weeks, and, uh, yeah, and then that'll work. And she says, well, how do I know... You know, like, how, mu how much do I pay? Like, uh, there's so many things going on. And he goes, well, in your case, let's just say um, I'll pay you. You can pay me, I mean, when you can pay me when it becomes when you see again. And she thought, well, OK, that's fair. I can I can do that. That sounds uh, extremely fair, honestly. You know, at, at least I know it worked at that point. And so uh, he put the first thing on, and then as he was uh, leaving, he, um, he realized uh, that she had a really nice set of pens, like a, like a really fancy little pen set. And so he grabbed that, took it out with him on, on his way out the door. And the next day, the next week, he came and unwrapped her eyes and cleaned it all off and he said open your eyes can you see and she said oh not yet i can't see and she and he said well it does take a few weeks so let's try it again so he put the medicine back on her eyes wrapped her eyes back up and this time he realized that hidden underneath all of the uh, clothes that had been piled on it was a really nice fancy antique old chair and uh, so after he had set her down and got her settled, uh, he took that with him on his way out. And then he found, uh, again, every time. He came back again and again and again, week after week after week. And every time he took something from her house. And then one day, one of those times, he took off the wrap, uncovered her eyes, cleaned them all up, said, open your eyes, and she said, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I can see, I can see your face, and he said, wow, this is great, this is great, all right, well, uh, it's cured, then I'll send you the bill, and he sent her a bill, and she ignored it, she didn't pay it, she didn't do anything, and he sent her, you know, the second one, the second bill, the second bill, and finally, finally, uh, she just wouldn't pay the bill at all. And finally he came, you know, to her and said, you have to pay the bill, you have to pay the bill. She said, I'm not going to pay the bill. And he goes, well, why not? That was our agreement. And she said, you said I would be able to, see. you said I would pay when I could see. And he was right there in the house, and he goes, well, 
what are you talking about? You could see. You told me that day you saw my face. She goes, well, yeah, but as I look around my house, I don't see any of my stuff. So something's wrong. And so she didn't pay. 